Because I hope and pray that from here, we shall focus ourselves on the issue at hand. And the issue at hand is how to ensure unity in our diversity. There are issues, fellow Kenyans, that we consistently shy away from addressing because we don't want to address certain things. We don't want to, to own up to certain things. But the fact of the matter is that we are a tribal society. We want to get away from it, but that's what we are. And this is what divides us because we pretend we are national leaders. But when the time comes, we switch to vernacular and we become what we are. I will also admit today that I've also been part and parcel of that negative politics. Yeah. So I'm, I'm not blaming, I'm not saying this because I'm pointing fingers at anybody. I am just saying we have all been part of this mess. We have all been part of it. But we never want to, to talk about it. We all pretend how great and how national leaders we are. All right? And that is why we must address ourselves to this issue of inclusivity. Because if we are going to remove this kasumba that has disturbed us, we must deal with this issue of inclusivity so that every single community and section of this country feels that they are part and parcel of this great nation. And you know, we started pole pole addressing ourselves to that issue even in 2010 by bringing on devolution and ensuring now resources were going kule machinani. But there were still elements that were left. Elements that made people feel that they were left out of national government. So the issue of inclusivity is critical and was critical. And we said with my friend here, we must address ourselves to that issue. Mutu asiposema ukweli, tunaficha kule, but then we never address it. Because until we do, our politics will consistently be negative. And we want to change that cycle so that our politics can be positive driven. The second big problem we have is our young people. Again, let us not cheat ourselves. It is our young people. We have a youth bulge that if not properly handled can be a time bomb that can blow this country to pieces. And the handling of that has to be done extremely carefully. Extremely carefully. That is not a problem of this community or that. It affects us all. But how we manage it, we must manage it very carefully. All right? We must manage it by including them, including them in our decision-making processes. And that is why I said in Kisi, during the Mashujaa Day celebration, if we are to deal with our youth problem, we must deal with our economy. And there is no country in the world that has ever developed on a five-year cycle of politics. Nandipo niliwambia juzi wakati tulikuwa tumeenda kuanzisha mradi wa hawa vijana. Na nikawambia my friends, be very careful. It is very exciting and it is very sweet. And let us not entertain the sideshows. Because there are too many sideshows. 
that are detracting us from where we want to go, that are stopping this country from being that great country that our forefathers saw it to be. And I believe that together we can achieve it. Mimi hiyo ndiyo ombilangu. Kwenu nyinyi na kwa wa Kenya wote. Na ndiyo nasema mimi na waomba musome. Kwa sababu laki kuna vipengele mingi. Na tumesikia hapa wengine wakaya mistaki hile hii iwe namna hii hii iwe namna hii. Ni sawa. That is the conversation that we must have. Sindio? This one. Because without this Hata hizo zingine zote ni zabure. Amani wenzangu. Amani na umoja wa taifa letu na njia ile tutapambana na ukosefu wa kazi kwa vijana wetu. Na mambo haya hatutaweza kutimiza tusipokuja pamoja. Mheshimiwa Mudavadi, mheshimiwa Wetangula. Wiyo, wote na nawashukuru na ndipo namshukuru hata sasa upande yetu ya jubili na mshukuru kwa sababu tulisonga pamoja hapa katikati ndiyo sasa 2022 ikaanza kuwa inapita <laughs> akasahau yale yale mengine na ndio wanasema watu tutulize ball hiyo bado itakuja ama ni namna gani wenzangu tutulize tutulize ball hiyo itakuja eh miaka hairudi nyuma nilikuwa naambia viongozi hawa wa 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 wa, 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 wa kisi siku nyingine walikuja kunitembelea race ni hii ni ile ya kuhandover unajua eh si ndio inaitwa relay Unakimbia unakimbia ule mwingine anakugojea pale anatakikana kukugojea ndio ashike aendelee si ndio Lakini sasa my brother William hapa amepinduka anakimbia nyuma Nasema mos 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 utafika tu. <laughs> Jameni